All right, so if you got a uh, launch, uh, the uh, X431, uh, and you want to uh, upload all the uh, new uh, updates that come with it, uh, a lot of times these only come with a 16 gig uh, internal drive, and when you go to upload the updates, it'll say after the first four or five updates that there's not enough internal storage and that uh, you have to uh, clear off room to make that happen. The problem with that is, uh, to make that happen, um, there, there's nothing on this tablet from the, you know, I don't have any extra apps on there. Or there's any, there's no, I didn't put anything on it to uh, fill it up. There's no photos, nothing. So it's basically impossible to update the updates on the launch uh, without putting the internal SD card in it. So the way to do that, is take off this case first, this rubber case, and um, I just get a little pick in here. You can see it kind of pulls up, just kind of start uh, at the corner, and kind of peel it back, and then once you get it going, uh, you should be able just to pull this cover completely out all right so now that's off you can get to the screws there's a whole bunch of screws that go around it go ahead and take those screws off and then uh, set them off to the side and then we can get the the actual tablet out from under it all right so once you remove the screws this should come off and then uh, you should be able to get the tablet now. You can pull the tablet out of this plastic case. And now we can get to, uh, now you're down to your normal tablet here. And we can get to uh, the external store, or the, you know, put a uh, SD card in here and expand the, the uh, store so we can do updates on this. All right, so I got the uh, tablet out of that case. You're gonna see on the uh, left side, if it's facing you upward, there's a little Lenovo tab here, pull that up, and then there's a slot there for your card. You're just going to insert the slot uh, kind of face down, you know, the like that, the black side up, down or up towards you. Just slide in the slot and push it in, and then you should be able to press this uh, Lenovo back together. And then you have to go in... Uh, And set the tablet up to read off that card so that we could use it to download the updates. So I'm going to go ahead and go into that real quick. And we'll show you how to do that. And then uh, put this thing back together. Alright, so you go into store. So just go uh, to your home screen. Go to hit the settings key right there. Go to storage. Click on storage. Now you can see here uh, I'm in the red. 15.8 to 16 gigs of storage used, and I don't have anything on this tablet other than the, the launch software. So click on the SD card. Sometimes it'll say set up or it'll go to this. Uh, if it goes to this, just hit this over here. Wait. Now hit the uh, settings, or the three dots over here, and go to storage settings. Now it's going to have your card here. I put a 64 gig card in here. You can put a 120 in here, whatever you want. I just had a 64 laying around, so that's what I'm going to use. It should be plenty big for updates. And I'm just going to put, click on Format as Internal. And you should get this screen here. It says Format as Internal Storage. And you're just going to put, click on Erase and Format. And that will format this SD card and uh, help this tablet use it as an internal storage. So this might take a few moments. I'll wait a second here and let this do that. And then we'll come right back. All right. Once it's done formatting, it'll say it'll ask you if you want to move data to new storage, and it just it'll move apps and photos or whatever you have. Which, I, like I said on this, I don't have anything on this, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit move now. You can do whatever you want on that, and it's just gonna go ahead and move uh, things that it doesn't need. Uh, on its internal storage, on its normal hard drive, over to your SD card. 
and it should free up some space for you. But uh, either way, this SD card should act as internal storage now. So you'll be able to update it and uh, go about your business. I've had this launch about two years and uh, I've never updated it. And my free updates are getting ready to expire soon. So I figured that I would uh, go ahead and update it before uh, they expire because after that you have to pay every year. And I was not able to do that because the uh, hard drive was full. So this is the reason why we're doing this. And uh, anyway, it's going to go ahead and move the data. And then uh, we'll come back. And then I'll try to, do a, uh, try to do some of the updates and see if they actually work this time. All right, so we're, we got done doing that. We're back at the storage settings. And you can see internal storage, 895, used a 16. And it was 15-something. SD card's got 7. Now it should treat this SD card as part of its internal storage. So, all right, so I had to go out of the program and uh, refresh it. But anyway, I'm just going to hit unselect here on all of them. This one here was was a somewhat big one. I couldn't uh, ever download that. It would always uh, it always stop before it was able to install it. It said I was out of internal storage. So I'm going to go ahead and you can see there progress. If it gets about right there, then it would say uh, there's not enough room to install it. So, And you can see I had like 60 that I need to update. I had not updated this tool in almost two years. And like I said, I think July is when my two years free updates runs out. So I want to get it updated before then so that I don't have to pay for it. And I could, you know, use it for a year or two before I have to update again. So... And I, this is a really good tool. I use the launch. This is X431. This is the one I use uh, almost every day. I do have an Autel that I use. And I, nine times out of ten, I grab this one just because it's smaller and it's easier. Uh, and the Autel is, is way out of date. This one is relatively new. I think the last time I updated my Autel was like 2018 or 17. So it's... It needs to be updated or get a new one. So anyway, I'm going to let this run and then we'll see if it installs it. Uh, I think this is kind of a big file on here. And like I said, it's I've got about 60 files I need to, up, I need to update on this to bring it up to uh, today, 2021. So uh, with the added storage on there, that should have no problem installing it and uh, updating it. And you, like I said, I put a 64 gig card in here. You can put whatever, you can put a 128 in here if you want. Uh, I just had a 64 laying around. And I don't think it's going to take anywhere near that to uh, update this and keep it updated. And even if I use like the screen recorder and stuff like that, I think there'll be plenty of room left over with the 64 gig. Uh, you could probably even get away with something smaller. But the 64 is so cheap now, it's not a big deal. But um, once this gets done updating, I'll put it back in the case. And it's just reverse. It's just reverse of uh, how you took it apart. So anyway, I'll let this download. We'll make sure it works, and then we'll go ahead and end this out. All right. So I went ahead and put the case back on while it's downloading. You can see that it's almost done downloading. It never got to this point. It was always like a quarter of the way, and then it would stop downloading. So I just wanted to make a video and kind of show you how to take this case off. It's not real obvious when you're looking at it. Uh, it doesn't even almost look like it comes apart. If you've never had it apart, um, but you just get a little pick or something in here underneath this, and it'll uh, pull up, and then you can get to all the screws and stuff, and that's when you can, uh, yeah. See now it's installing, so it never got to that point. It always said I uh, couldn't install it, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this back in and put it on a battery charger and let it download all those uh, updates on it. It's like I said, it's almost two years old. It's never had an update, so. Uh, I didn't see anything on there real really how to take this case apart on YouTube anywhere so that's the main thing and then to show how to put it in there where it's at and then uh, you know how to mount it and format it it's all pretty self-explanatory I'm sure most people know how to do it the main thing was just getting this case off and uh, figuring out how to uh, format it into the system so uh, you know, this is a really good tool. I really enjoy using it. I like it a lot, but uh, it's a shame. They should have put a bigger hard drive in or even gave you an SD card pre-installed with it. I'm sure there's a lot of cost that goes into this as far as like, well, you know, 
the next size up hard drive on this on this pad might be real expensive, but they could have put a card in there or, or charged like you know ten dollars extra. It would have been nice, but not a big deal. Now that I know uh, how to take this apart, and there you go. So the software has been updated successfully. So uh, and then of course if you go up here and go to update, I still got fifty six more I have to go through. So like I said, I'm just gonna plug it in and let it update all of them, and then uh, go from there. But that's how you solve that problem with your launch. If you're trying to do your updates, you can see I got, I think originally I had 80, and I was able to download about 30 of them before I ran out of space. So, uh, with the stores that we have now, we should be able to do them all. So I'm just going to update them all and plug it in. But, uh, like I said, it's a real good tool. I love it. I use it every day. It's uh, got almost all the factory software for all the manufacturers, but... You will have to put a new card in or SD card in if you want to update it. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, God bless.